In that old movie, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Henry Jones says at one point, my boy, we are pilgrims in an unholy land. It's kind of a sideways nod to Hebrews chapter 11, which says that all of the faithful of old acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on earth. They were sojourners, pilgrims on their way to another destination, to an eternal one. It's a theme that runs throughout Holy Scripture, that no one is truly at home in this world. We believers especially. We look forward to that new Jerusalem that comes down from above. I mean, we hear Jesus' promise that he goes to prepare a place for us, that his father's house has many rooms. And it all sounds so grand and so glorious. But is that for you? You're not sure that you really want anything to do with all of that grandeur. There was a running theme in popular music some years ago that said, essentially, if heaven isn't just like my favorite place on earth, then I don't want to be there. Because you see, we doubt God's promises that he has what is best for you in mind. You doubt that God truly knows just how your life really is. You doubt that he could ever come up with an eternity that would fit your needs. But the writers, the writer continues in Hebrews 11 to say that the faithful heroes were seeking a homeland. They were seeking a better country. They knew that God had prepared a place for them and it was glorious. Well, that's all well and good for them, right? They had no idea how good life on earth could be. I mean, air conditioning, streaming video, DoorDash, what more could you want? And that's exactly the point. What more could you want? Why not everything that God promises? Why not forever with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven? Why not an eternal and unending feast of celebration and joy? So don't doubt the Lord's promises for you. And when you do, stop, take a breath, and let him speak to you once again of his promises and his love for you, made sure in Jesus. That the blood of Christ, which covers you in baptism, is the promise and the key that opens this inexplicably wonderful eternity to you.